The way I got interested in working with children is when I really started working with Dr. Ann Taylor. And I went into a third grade classroom with this activity that I had planned and children were looking at me like, what are you talking about? They didn't get it. So I went home, thought about it, came back the next day, tried it differently. And the look that the first child gave me when he got it, the joy, the spark, the aha moment was priceless. I still remember that moment. And I think it was at that point that I really got passionate about working with children because it's so pure and innocent and you want to do better just for them. I started my career working with children at risk and the APS bureaucracy was a little too much for me. And so I wasn't able to do what I wanted to do with children. So instead of battling the bureaucracy, I decided, okay, we're going to start a charter school one on the east side and one on the west side. And we realized why these children weren't succeeding in traditional schools. It's because they're dealing with emotional issues that no one was helping them with. And we were serving 170 children successfully and did that for four years. And at the same time, my daughter was starting Montessori school. Getting up in the morning and get ready for school, totally excited. And I looked at her and then I'm looking at these high school children and I realize I'm giving my daughter this foundation of love of learning at a very young age. And the children that I'm trying to help right now didn't have that foundation. That's when I realized I need to start much younger. I need to be for profit, no board, no one to tell me what to do, how to do it, why to do it, and just do what I feel is right to serve the children. Two years later, we started designing and building and opened the school. I started interviewing via phone. That's how I hired majority of my staff in the beginning. We were still under construction, so we did open houses Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Hard hats on, and we'd be walking parents into the building and say, now visualize this. <laughs> That's how we started. And then it grew from there. So our preschool children were graduating overprepared for the traditional school. We take them really high. Academically, they get up to second grade standards. Their beautiful cursive handwriting, they're reading independently, they're doing multiplications, divisions, fractions. When they get to the traditional first grade and they're above average, they were recognized as being high achieving academic students. And in turn, they were bored. So in 2015, that is when we opened our elementary program. And then I realized that there is also a need in our community for working moms. You shouldn't have to choose between your career and your family. And so we opened NEDO by 2019 and we're serving six weeks through walking in our infant program. Montessori is a complete academic curriculum. Our goal is to teach them independence right from the beginning, allow them to explore and learn at their level. We do it in mixed age group setting so younger children learn much faster and develop faster by just watching older children because they have a role model. Older children in turn are mentors and leaders in the classroom. So we're helping them develop their confidence, their motivation, their soft skills that we all need to succeed in the world. And so it works from both ends. And I think the teacher, we call them guides because they're not to give instruction, they're there to guide the child. And you see this beautiful journey that children take and they take ownership of their own learning. Beauty of Montessori environment is also, it develops and changes as the child develops and changes. And so our infant program you will see is very clean, clutter-free. All the furniture is down at their level. 
They have floor beds, so if you feel like taking a nap, the child will crawl into the floor bed and lay down for a nap. When they're ready to get up from the nap, they'll get out on their own. They don't need an adult to help them. When you move into the toddler classroom, there is little more curriculum. The reason we have one table and one chair per child is they're learning to focus at that time. So we don't want anyone to be distracting them when they're focusing. As we move into the primary environment, you'll see a lot more curriculum materials out. They've learned to be responsible and respectful to the classroom curriculum. They've learned responsibility and respect each other and the body space, and they're ready for more academic challenge. And so primary is really where we start focusing on the academics. We have math area, we have a language area, we have sensorial, geography, art. And then as you move into the elementary classroom, you'll see a lot more freedom. Children at that age need a lot more movement. And so classroom is very open. There is a kitchen where they can prepare their own snack, eat when they're ready. There is a dishwasher, they do their own dishes. This is where they learn to take care of their environment. They learn to fold clothes. They learn to sweep and mop the floors. They're learning to put things back where it belongs so that we're not having clutter in the classroom. So a lot more independence in elementary. We have a gardener who works with our children, teaching them about how you take food from seed all the way through and then complete the whole cycle of harvesting the seeds and starting all over again. So teaching them the value of the hard work. We have a music program, a local musician. They come and they are providing music lessons to our children. We have also dance and gymnastics and PE. So we pull local resources that are in the community and that helps the community at large as well as us on a smaller scale. Critically, Montessori believed in partnership between home and school and that really this is an extension of the child's home. They take care of their environment, they take care of themselves, they take care of one another, they have hands-on learning experiences, they have such a varied and dynamic educational experience throughout their day that we really value that they have a rich home experience too, and one that doesn't need to supplement or support the school day. That's why we're not gonna send kids home with homework. We believe in the child needing to rest when they're home, and we believe in the methodology and the curriculum that we know they're being taught plenty at school. So we do send many of our children from Montessori One into some of the other private schools here in Albuquerque. And given we don't use grading systems, what we instead do is we meet with those schools and we figure out how we can help our children be prepared to matriculate into some of the best schools in Albuquerque. And what we've had reported back to us is that they do it with a lot of ease and a lot of grace. And that comes from the amount of confidence that we've allowed them to maintain within themselves under our care. That they know they can self-direct, that they know they can go into these settings and be able to do whatever it is that's being asked. A lot of the time when we work with the child and we afford them this level of independence, what they're capable often exceeds our expectations. And a lot of the time we see that the child was just waiting for the opportunity. And our prepared adults and our prepared environments give the child that opportunity to exceed, to surprise, to delight. And that's what we take a great deal of pride in providing. Montessori One Academy provides children the best education. They deserve the best. We're preparing them for the future, not just success in New Mexico or even in the United States. I think it's global success that we're preparing them for. So we focus on the soft skills that eventually lead to this executive functioning, which will help them succeed in whatever they want to do in life.